This is a story about draft horses, workhorses, Clydesdales, Percherons, Belgians. Big, powerful, dignified animals. The kind you used to find on every farm. This is also a story about the people who own these animals and still work them in the field and the woods. They're keeping the old ways alive. They're horse farming the old-fashioned way. It's the spring of the year. The fields plowed last fall are drying out, but there's still more plowing to do, and harrowing, and seeding, and rolling. It's time to get back to work. So what's what's happening there? Well, as, as far as plowing goes, those horses are walking nice and slow, and this is what you need. And uh, and as far as the guy holding the plow, it's like a bicycle. You lean it one way, it'll go one way, and lean it the other, it'll go the opposite. 
yeah, I ploughed it in the fall and that gives it the soil a chance to, to rot and, uh, and then you've got the soil up but on the top then you can disc that and harrow it and uh, get that dry enough and seed it. And that's the expensive part, There's fertilizer and seed and grass seed and lime to buy. After thousands of dollars later you have a field of something. <laughs> Well, he just filled it up with seed and he's putting oats, fertilizer, and grass seed in all at once. What do you call that rig there? A uh, grain drill. What, what's the best thing about farming with horses? Well, uh, what I think about with, with horses, they don't, they don't trap the uh, ground down as much as tractors. I mean, they, a tractor will go over and beat the ground down hard with it. Uh, uh, and you can work a team on wet ground and it'll dry the ground out, but you put a tractor on it, well, it'll, it'll just muck and it'll dry out, but still, it just, it spoils the ground. That's all I figured. Who are these guys? Who do you have? What are your, who are your well, I got Gene and Rose here. Yeah. They, I've had them since 1992. Yeah, they, and I do a little gardening with them and go around to these farm days and uh, yard a little wood in the wintertime, stuff like that, sleigh rides. And I've had horses all my life and uh, it's, it's, it's different. And it's, it's nice to have them to walk around, you know. Keeps you healthy. <laughs> you and the horses. And the horses, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are these better than than, uh, than tractors, than modern equipment? Well, they just a little bit of hay you feed them, and oats, they're a tractor, you got to repair them and buy fuel and stuff for them. And, but I, I have a tractor too that I use around there, yeah. We plan on doing a little hay cutting with them this year, I think. So that'll be a help. Eh? Cuts the cost down quite a bit. Yeah. That's what we're doing here, and uh, it's for the younger people to to see somebody working with a horse or with a team. Why is that important? Why is that important? Because they have no gas and no money, no diesel fuel and no money. <laughs> that makes it very important, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but I like to work with the horses because they're so quiet. You don't have to listen to a motor running when you're, and uh, when you're working with a team of horses, you're never alone. But if you're working with a tractor, it's awful poor company. <laughs> Is that enough reasons? The horses are very important to me, yes. I uh, don't know the reason, but... Uh, uh, I suppose it's the same as the fellow that if he's going to buy a car he likes a convertible, I don't know. It's, uh, I just like the horses and uh, the horses are a thing that I can afford. I cut the hay for them, I can, I can feed them without money and, uh, and I, I love to work them. and and I've had pretty good success with horses. And uh, <clears throat> maybe I'm not too hard on them because I've had some of them to live to be awful old. <laughs> How much care do they need? Like well, what's, what's your typical day caring for these horses? Well, you've got to get up in the morning, feed them, clean them out. Then you can let them go again until around 5 o'clock in the evening. You go up and feed them up again and get them water. you got to have lots of water. 
The summertime is not bad because you're leaving outside all the time. And you got a big, I got a big hay rack out behind the barn there. I let them out in the morning, fill that full, and then that does it for the day. Let me see now. Bayard Hoyt said it this way. He said, the Clydesdale is harder on fuel, and uh, the Percheron is easier, and the Belgian will do more work on less grain than the others. And uh, there are other breeds of, of um, workhorses, but we just mainly have those three here. You usually you have a harness on him, and your reins are down here. Well, I didn't come prepared for that today. I had a fellow to come to drive my horses for me. When I got here, he didn't show up, so I had to do it alone. So I just tied them around my neck there. They just go on. It's a lot of work. Oh, it is, it is, it is, but it's fun. It's fun. I like it. Or I guess maybe we wouldn't be doing it, eh? <laughs> What makes it so much fun working with these animals? Well, I don't know, it's different. You, if, even if you come out in the morning, you're not feeling well, you start working around them horses, and they seems as though the more you work with them, the better they are, they, you know. And, 